Hey guys, today I'm going to address a particular issue and this is something that I wanted to read to you again. And let's not focus on if he's ethically a good guy, if he's a bad guy. We can assume he's a bad guy, but I'm just going to read you this statement again. And I do want to take time to think it over with you guys. I couldn't play a single round today without feeling absolutely awful. I couldn't look at my opponents in the eyes because all the negativity sent my way. I had to leave the convention center to cry in between rounds every round. I love magic more than anything else in my life. I've always wanted to make meaningful contributions to the game. Magic had gotten me out of a dark period where I struggled with suicide and depression. I don't ever want to play the game after this weekend. I've never felt worse playing magic than this weekend. Whether or not you have pity for him, whether or not you believe he's telling the truth or he's just having a pity party for himself, I think it's it struck a chord with me because magic gathering means a lot to a lot of people. And in my past, it has meant a lot to me. And I can see this affecting... Being in the spotlight is not good in this game. It's different from Pokemon. It's different from Card Fight Vanguard. It's different from Yu-Gi-Oh. Being in the... Well, maybe not that different from Yu-Gi-Oh. I take that back. Being the spotlight, let's take MTG headquarters for instance. There's a dude who screenshots every little Twitter post he makes and then he puts it on like a Reddit or something and they go on a witch hunt and forever, for eternity and beyond, they have these posts of MTG headquarters saying stuff that I bet you he wished he would take back but there's a dude who literally screenshots every single time he posts on Twitter. And he will, he'll be like, I'm screenshotting this. It's pretty crazy, but that it is kind of scary. And each of those screenshots are used as evidence or collateral later on to prove that MTG headquarters is a bad guy. That is very scary to me. It's also very scary as a content creator. Whatever videos we put out there, it's just kind of out there, you know? It's... People may be duplicated it. People may interpret what you're saying incorrectly. So Magic the Gathering does mean a lot to me. It is, it's meant different things at different stages in my life. At this current stage in my life, it's a way to reconnect with old friends. And that's what's most important to me. I know you guys love MTG Finance videos, but in probably when I, this channel first started, it was way more important to me back then to be really good at MTG Finance because I had a lot to prove. I had to prove to myself and my subscribers, really. I really didn't like the MTG Finance community. I'm still not a fan of them, of the people in that community. But I wanted to prove I could do it. I could grow a channel basically on MTG Finance content and grow and become larger than their Reddit, which I am currently now. I'm sure I'm going to get trolled for that. So yes, thank you for that, Reddit. Anyway, magic means a lot to me. And for for this guy, it clearly has meant a lot. It helped him through suicide, depression. Again, I'm taking what he's saying at face value. And he's going in between rounds and crying. Like, that's ridiculous to me. And the fact that people just don't have any pity for him because he's ethically gray or he's a role shark and he took advantage of people who can not speak English. He called a judge. If he did something really bad like cheating or stealing or something, the judge wouldn't be like, oh, dude, you're right. The judge would be like, no, get that blank out. right? So at the end of the day, the fact that he's crying and he doesn't want to play magic anymore and magic is the most important thing in his life, I can believe that. I can believe it because at one point in my life, magic was the most important thing. And as crazy as that sounds, if something like this happened to me, I would cry about it too. If something like this happened to me today, I wouldn't really care because, again, I'm using Magic the Gathering to reconnect with old friends, doing boosted drafts. So I guess what my, my main takeaway from this is we should be nicer to each other. We should be not as critical, not as ready to go on a witch hunt. And you might be like, oh, well, MTG lying. Don't you do that with cheating videos? The cheating videos are actual videos of them cheating, right? There's no ethical gray area when you st 
draw three cards instead of two and you hide the way you do it. That is not ethically gray. We have you on video doing something bad. We have you on video with eight cards in your hand. Okay, cool. Like, at the very end of the day, I do believe his story that he cried. I do believe that magic is super important to him. And it's just kind of sad. Um, it is sad to me. The way I look at it, it is not a popular opinion. And I don't need to have all the popular opinions because I'm sure other YouTubers will go lead the witch hunt, right? They will lead the witch hunt. I'm saying very clearly this guy cares a lot about magic. He is part of our community. And for people just to attack him and attack him, attack him, to make him cry every single round, to make him give up magic. It's sad. You know, it, it's very sad because I can't imagine another community, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh, doing something like this to one of its own members. Um, yes, should he admit that he made a mistake? Okay, fine. I give you that. Should he apologize? Yes, I give you that. Should he say, okay, well, you know, should he apologize to his opponent and then make a public apology? What, what amount of blood do you need from this guy? What amount of tears do you need from this guy for you to justify the negativity, the bullying, the, the pros just hammering away at the dude? Like, isn't it enough? Isn't it enough that he wrote this? And now there, is, there will be a group of people who just call him a crybaby the whole time, whatever they see him. Isn't it enough that he can't even look his opponents in the eye? What, what do you need more? Do you need a bucket of tears to make it better? I don't know. My, my gut feeling is he does care a lot about magic. He made a mistake. Let's all get over it. He called a judge. I mean, a judge is supposed to be called in situations where it is ethically gray. People say that he's very, he was very smug. I think it's just the way he looks, to be honest. Anyway, this is my personal opinion. And I know, I know that it is not a popular opinion because it's not like, let's go for a witch hunt on the dude. If you cheat, and I have a video of you cheating, or there's like a lot of evidence of you cheating, you have eight cards in your hand. That's pretty bad. If you're drawing extra cards, that's pretty bad. The fact that you're doing this on video to, to me tells me that you've done it before. Because like if you if you were to stop at any time, you would be stopping on video, right? You would be like, okay, well, I'm on I'm on camera. I better not cheat today. Or cheat not today. I mean, I'm sure that you're cheating all day. But I won't better not cheat at this particular moment in time. And the fact that you're still cheating at this particular moment in time when you're camera, on camera, I mean, you're a pro. You know how many cards to draw. You know you played your deck at least a dozen. I mean, how many, I mean if, you, if you're modern or legacy, how many times have you played your deck? Hundreds, if not thousands of times? I don't know. You're a pro, right? Anyway, leave me a comment below. This was a long-winded video, and now I have to find anime images of crying. Bye.